Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot and today we are doing a reading for the new moon. Okay, so this month I missed the full moon reading. I was on holidays, sorry about that. You probably couldn't tell because I had done some content ahead of time. So I wasn't missing anything for you so you had something to watch. So it says take the time to breathe out. So looks like somebody might be needing a vacation possibly. <laughs> the emotions are running high here with the super moon. Let's see what else we have for the new moon. Hold your vision. This is the fixed moon. Okay. A lot of purple here. Believe in the impossible. <laughs> Blue moon. Okay, we have no zodiacs. Whoa, no zodiac signs here. All right, if we have Libra here, a new romantic cycle begins. More purple and blue. Whoa, listen, this is amazing. All this purple here. I feel like your crown chakra might be opening your third eye and your crown chakra, maybe your throat chakra. We have the cardinal moon and the full moon eclipse. The only zodiac sign coming out is for Libra so far. So maybe something is going to happen in Libra. Maybe this romantic cycle that's on the bottom of the deck. Surrender to the divine full moon and more purple and no other zodiac signs came out with this. Let's crack the deck one more time. Ah, we have the new moon in Taurus. So we do have Taurus and Libra. They may be significant. Maybe your sign, your sun, moon, or rising. Or just in your chart. Doesn't have to be. Okay. Well, since there's romance here, let's get a couple of the romance cards here. Let's crack the deck open. What? What? Wedding? Wow. Okay. Looks like something's coming in for you. Some type of wedding. Oh, but you have to free yourself first. So you may have to take control of your life once again, or somebody might be in your energy trying to persuade you to do something perhaps that you don't really want to do. Maybe your heart's desire is somewhere else. I feel like to, to follow your heart's desire here is what we're kind of getting here. All right, and let's see what we get with more love cards since the wedding is here. Ah, somebody may be in a karmic cycle right now, a karmic relationship, feeling some triggers and turmoil here. Maybe some resentment. There's some lessons that need to be learned here. Having to let go. And possibly this may bring in, yeah, there is an ending here. But an ending with this karmic relationship is going to bring the lessons out that you were meant to learn, okay? And with every ending, there are new beginnings. So there is a new romantic cycle, which was right here with the Libra. So this seems to be coming right along. Wow, wedding rings with the wedding card. Holy. <laughs> what? Okay, so <laughs> you may say, nope, not today. I'm still angry. Or you might be leaving this karmic relationship. Perhaps they're trying to get in touch with you. Maybe they felt you were going to marry them and maybe you are trying to find your way here. This is either you or your person to take it however it resonates, flip it, switch it, whatever you need to do to have it resonate for you. Let's see what else comes up. Ah, see that crown chakra is changing with the number five here. The seventh chakra, Archangel Uriel. Aha. I feel like you maybe don't have to make like indecision, but it's in reverse. So maybe you've made a decision already, or you may have to choose between two here. With the number eight, this is taking action. This is 
maybe some type of resolution. You may be this woman holding a heart, or this could be your person. Take it how it resonates. And happy family. Four, four, four is here, and then eight. So we have four, eight, and eight. We have another four here with the one. Wow, a lot of fours. So a lot of stability here, structure, and manifestation. So manifesting may be a big thing for you right now. Let's look on the bottom of the deck. What is here? Ah, you may have some type of strategy or your person is coming in with some type of strategy. But the number three, this is something they've grown from that may have been within a group. Maybe they realized certain things about a group or they're looking at their more creative side and wanting to go and have growth in that. So let's see, I, I still feel like it has to do with romance, with this strategy, this happy family, things opening up. Wow, this is quite beautiful and unexpected collective, whoever, oh, I got some cards in here that don't belong. Ay ay ay. okay, we'll have to shuffle these up again. Is there any other ones in here? Yes. Father of the sky, God, I release the weight of the world from my shoulders. So spirits got you. So you have nothing to worry about. I feel, oh, I, I feel like there's something you're meant to be doing here and it may even have some type of purpose behind it especially with some strategy here or this is your person wow somebody has a vanity but it is in the reverse so they're not vain and it looks like they may be paying attention i'm going to leave these in reverse because they may have been like this in the past had a lot of vanity and just didn't listen to people, maybe spoke over them. They may have been impatient and they're not finding any bitter sweetness here. I feel like they're just finding something sweet. They might be trying to have things go their way or this may even be you, this impatience. Having to be patient is one of the hardest things to learn. Having to feel like you're waiting and don't wait. Just keep moving forward for you. Do you. for yourself. Do whatever you persevere. Whatever you're doing. And I don't feel like you have any confusion here. I feel like you already know what you're wanting to do here. What you're looking for. Yes. You have a vivid imagination, I feel. I embrace and nourish the creative aspects of my mind. And I feel like this here, I feel, it's almost like you can, whatever you put your mind to, you can really create something amazing no matter what the medium is. And medium being um, whatever type of tool or art or craft or whatever you make, whatever you're using, say it's tile or pencil or paints, whatever your medium is that you use to create, I feel like this is something that you can try all these different and get a little bit of knowledge out of all of these different types of mediums. And perhaps when I say medium, perhaps you are a medium or psychic. It could also mean something along those lines. So let's have a look here. What's going on? Okay. So um, I'm kind of getting that on the fence here. So I do feel like you are good. Um, you're trying to get control of your life though, uh, or get take back some type of control. Now this could be you or your person. Take it however it resonates here. Let's look at this wedding. Why is the wedding here? And these wedding rings. What is this wedding here? Oh, am I going to get anything? Yes, wedding, marriage. Look at this. 
moving in ah but this is all coming down for somebody now this person your person may be married already they could be in a karmic relationship that is meant to end this wedding rings may have to end it may you may say no maybe you're calling off a wedding you're freeing yourself from something here in order to have I kind of feel like you may have settled like you're with your person that you married but you're thinking about someone else perhaps the someone else is now available hmm this I'm feeling is somebody you've been hoping to maybe get together with for a very long time now this is on the fence again ah, a perspective here trying to gain some perspective about something you might be learning something about your person they may be learning something about you hmm the emperor in the reverse here is kind of somebody that doesn't really want to compromise kind of likes things their way or is kind of controlling or dominant persuasive they're not seeing this different perspective here but they are learning they may be really upset at this point because of what is going on in their life yeah they may be working very hard to maybe change this dynamic here they may be very angry with this person trying to avoid conversation putting boundaries in place maybe they've moved out there is an ending here just going to work here yeah I'm moving forward 8-8 eight, eight is here again another 4 again 4, is, four and 8 are pretty significant here let's see okay so uh, I kind of feel like maybe <laughs> your person's friends are celebrating or maybe this is you celebrating an ending to a relationship perhaps they didn't like this person kind of feeling like they figure you were getting treated badly by this person what's going on here yeah there was some shady ass behavior going on maybe even a third party okay so perhaps hmm, I'm kind of getting for some of you that perhaps they may have used your name somehow to kind of upset this person this karmic I feel like this karmic may have been envious of you maybe knew who you were Maybe this person talked about you, how you were the love of their life, or something along those lines. Let's see. Can you tell me about the shady ass behavior, please? Oh, okay. So, kind of flipped to the negative here in the reversal. And this is the Page of Cups. So, I'm kind of getting somebody is very emotionally vulnerable right now this may be something they did to you if this is someone from your past or this is what they've done to the karmic or this is what the karmic did to your person maybe you did this to your person somebody doesn't want to miss an opportunity though and just take it however it resonates so something some type of uh, betrayal has ended here I feel like with the ten of swords in reverse this is somebody that's learned a lesson here uh, learned a hard lesson with this tower here they're very angry not willing to compromise trying to go forward with work some type of shady ass behavior here hmm
feeling very vulnerable. But this is all ending. Not wanting to miss an opportunity possibly with you. Yes, this is somebody from the past. You may have been married to this person at one point. You may say, uh-uh, no way, no how here. <laughs> Uh, just because maybe they put you through a lot. Yeah, you walked away from this person. Another 8 is here. 888. Eight, eight, and another 4. Okay. So, it looks like with the 4 of swords in reverse, you're recovering. You're exhausted, but you have recovered from this deception that they put you through. Or your person has recovered from whatever this karmic may have put them through. Take it however it resonates. Perhaps this karmic is the person you married. And you ended it with the wedding rings. You took off your wedding rings here. And you said, no way, I'm not doing this anymore. And you took control of your life. They may have done some shady ass behavior to you. You may have felt you were really in good place and it all came crashing down. This could be you or your person, but whatever this is or whoever this is for, I feel like it's somebody from the past that possibly you walked away from or they are walking away from a karmic here because they've, they've recovered, they've, they've learned. This may be a king of wands. He's showing up as very um, swagger, swagger, player, player boy kind of energy. So this vanity before, maybe because they look really good, but they may want to do an offer here with the king of cups. They're definitely somebody that has a vision, that's a risk taker, has leadership and ambition here behind them. But they're also showing up on the bottom of the deck as emotionally balanced and compassionate. They're very sensitive and understanding. Unless this is two people that you're having to choose from. Yeah, there's that offer, a Knight of Cups. Somebody that is an offer or a proposal. Somebody that is very romantic. Something that's heartfelt. Very charming and magnetic. And has a great imagination. Very creative. A beautiful person on the outside, perhaps? With the death card in reverse. Well, somebody is not wanting something to end. Whether that is you or them or their person hmm this is Scorpio energy kind of secretive this could be some type of unwanted uh, change or some type of delay maybe being anxious could be just anxious about this offer what do we have here Mm. <laughs> it's a blessing coming in here with the Ace of Pentacles. This is this is a financial career, financial abundance or opportunity, something using some type of resource or some type of manifestation maybe coming in. Wow, we have the King and Queen of Wands. So this looks like this may be a divine union here. I got one more card to round this up, please. Aha. They may have manifested you or you are manifesting your best life. This may be what you're doing right now. I feel like you are going to meet your emperor soon. Yeah, there's that king of cups. He's still on the bottom of the deck here. So there may be somebody here that Unless this is this emperor that's showing up. But they're in the reverse. So this is a false emperor. This is somebody that isn't... Is needing to recover. From, well, it looks like they do recover. Perhaps you walked away from this person. 
or this karmic did or they're walking away from the karmic let's clarify a bit here why is the tower here why is that tower here spirit hmm somebody didn't want to take an offer and the wheel just wasn't turning in their favor so something had to happen here they weren't getting the message or they weren't getting this is somebody that is married here this is somebody that's having really bad luck <clears throat> maybe gave the offer to someone else instead of you and spirits ripping all that shit down that's just that is not their person and they're not learning whatever lesson they're needing to they're being schooled right now about getting a different perspective they're not willing to compromise or to learn this let's see they're still planning their future with this karmic it looks like <clears throat> they haven't got the idea yet about what they're meant to be learning here. There's secrets. Something maybe is going to be revealed here that's going to show up. How does this work and going forward or moving forward here? Ah, that's gonna end for them as well. They're not going to be able to move forward through work. They may even lose their job. What is the shady ass behavior and this bad news that seems to be here? Hmm. Somebody's getting a victory. Somebody might be really enjoying this. Yeah, there's no love here for, for whoever they are with right now. This karmic relationship they're ending, they are walking away from this. They're putting an end to this betrayal. And I feel like it may be you or your person is getting betrayed here by somebody. And things are changing here. What is this betrayal? Tell me about the betrayal. Yes. Look at that. The tennis. Or ten of swords in the upright. This is putting something to bed. It is ended final resting place here. Six feet under. Not that anybody died. It just I mean somebody may have, but this is this is just an ending of this. It's an opportunity to end out this whole cycle. I kind of feel like they learned a huge lesson here and just decided to end the whole thing off. It, it's all done. It's, it's final. I'm getting final with the knot today. Yeah, there's that healing. They've recovered from whatever this was. This is somebody from their past that walked away. Maybe they're walking away from their past and healing things out. They had to find sanctuary. I feel like they've really put this to rest here. What is this not ending here? What is the death card in reverse? Mm. They feel like they picked the right person. That could be you to bring this offer in. And with this death card, they don't want something to be over. I feel like they chose. They're choosing. They know what they want. They may see you as the Queen of Wands. Yeah, they've, you've been patient, I feel like. <laughs> they've been not getting the lesson, but I feel like you've been very, very patient. That your manifestation is coming to fruition. You're in the flow. You may have made a good judgment call. And I feel like you may already know what's in their closet <laughs> the skeletons in their closet and would you look at that hierophant is here on the fence so somebody is thinking about marriage wedding 
Now, maybe you're wanting to be married. Maybe this person wants to marry you. Why is the Hierophant here? Yeah, they're wanting to heal, pull all these swords from their heart and patch it up. They feel like maybe you're going to help them with that. Help heal their wounds or be the person they need right now. A friend. They want you to take the offer and they're going to feel like this is balanced and justice. Like they've got justice for whatever betrayal happened here by you taking this offer. You may be doing really well successfully here, especially with this blessing, this financial opportunity here. You may be getting justice for somebody hurting you. Take it however it resonates for you. It's on the bottom of the deck. Yes, yeah, somebody's coming forward with that cup of love. They really want you to take the offer. Let's see what kind of outcome we're going to look at here. They tell me what is going to happen here. We have the mature woman here. So maybe this is you or your person or possibly the other person. The karmic. Yes, the thief is the karmic. Six, six. And there is a message here. There may be a message about somebody stealing something, stealing your heart, stealing your money, stealing something from you. Yeah, somebody is a false person here. Six, seven, eight. Ah, lovers. Claiming they love this person. There may be a message of concern about this. This may try to get somebody from their path here. Somebody is interfering, I feel. Like, this they're not meant to go down this path here. Whoever this thief or false person is, they're not meant to come with you. Hmm. There seems to be some type of transformation here, though, when it comes to somebody. That's on the bottom of the deck. Somebody's in bad health here. Number four. This is really shaking up their stability. Tell me about this mature woman. Who is this? Stillness. Somebody's being illuminated about somebody here. Somebody I feel has been on a wild goose chase or told of some type of adventure that maybe went bad. Simplicity. I feel like this thief was kind of making it sound so simple about what type of adventure huh. somebody may have found out that maybe you are no longer in a relationship and you're free, you have your freedom and that you're thriving. There's a false person that does not like this. They see you going forward here. And you've gained a lot of wisdom. Why is the lovers? This is a blessing. Whoever this lover is, this person that you, this blessing coming in for you, somebody is not happy about this. They've been released for this blessing to come in. Somebody's wondering. There's a message of concern here. And they're wondering what, what is this 
Mm, they see potential. They may not they may not like that there's potential between you and someone else here. Ah, you're gonna get your fulfillment because you're on your path here. Somebody does not like this. They you're very pure at heart here. Somebody may feel like angelic is kind of what I'm getting here. What's the house? Oh, you are being protected in your house, at your place. It, there's, this energy cannot harm you. Yeah. Your angels, ancestors, and spirit guides are really diligent about this protection. You're, I kind of feel like very important. Very important. Wow, you are love. You show people a lot of love. I feel like this love here is the highest frequency. You're vibing so high here. Wow, this is just crazy. I'm getting called to see what this has to say. It's the illumination. Mm, yeah, she's observing you, watching you. Maybe you have a platform. Yeah, this is, this thief is a feminine. And this could be this karmic that is with your person. Yes, they're going to feel orphaned when this person leaves them for you. Yeah. Your angels, ancestors, and spirit guides, your ascended masters here with number 11, is kind of saying t this change is going to happen here and you're just going to have to breathe through it. It has nothing to do with you. It's whatever your person is going through, they have to deal with it. They'll learn to maybe meditate to relieve stress. And if it is you, then you know that breath, breath work is really going to bring in that wisdom going forward here. And you may realize something about a false person. Yeah, they, you release, this person is releasing this karmic for a new life. This is a blessing. This is love. This is a lot of love. Yes, potential, a message of concern, a mes message in a bottle here. There's definitely a message coming through. Wow. Fulfillment and treasure island. You're on your path. Your path is so clear here. Yes. You may have a house by the sea, or you are going to buy a place by the ocean, or some type of lake or water source here. I feel like this is something you've been longing for, is to be close to the water. Something to do with the water. You might just be going within still, being diligent in doing your shadow work. But you are protected no matter which place you're in right now. If it's a new home or if this is what's coming in for you. Yeah, no place like home. <laughs> it's funny how I got that with that being buying a place by the sea. Something that's this house isn't a home though until you make it that with the love that comes in with it, right? So it can always be just a house, but until you have the love and the protection and all the things you're looking for to make it a home, right? Otherwise, it's just a house. And no place like home tells me this is all going to be a big change for you. This treasure island, this abundance that's coming into your life here is going to be very unexpected or happen quickly it's going to be kind of like I'm getting shell shock here like you're you didn't realize it was going to be so big or that it could be like this I, I'm kind of getting <laughs> 
So, anyhow, wow, this is so beautiful for the new moon. Let's just crack the deck on this and get one last message. The Holy Child. Yes, you are a star seed. I am a divine child of the universe. 22 here is an ascended master here. Wow. And then we have the little star. You are divine. The inner child is whole and complete. You've done the work. This is four and six. Two, 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 four could be another message for you that you might need to look at. We also have three, six, nine, seven. And we have four, two, five, one, one. We have a four here as well, and a five, so 45. We also have three, four, five here, so three, four, five may be of significance as well. So that is what I have for you, Starseed. By the looks of it, you are love. You are loved, and somebody really loves you. I feel like somebody is getting some type of strategy to come in to win your heart. There is somebody else here, though, that is really trying to mess up this chance. I feel like they've done this before. They may have been in this energy at, uh, at one other time before this, maybe even more than that, but there is something that is going on here. Let's just look at maybe of something you may be needing to be doing here. Wow, you may be a spiritual teacher or that may be your calling. You heal with your classes, sessions, or seminars. And you are supporting, you're getting support from this, your spiritualism, your spiritual classes, sessions, and seminars. I feel like this is going to support you financially. Wow. This is for somebody in particular, I'm feeling. Um, others of you, take however it resonating for you, whether you were married to this person or this person, this karmic relationship, they were married and somebody wants to marry you. You may be denying somebody here to take another offer. There's also somebody is going to be in bad health here. I feel like due to karma uh, because they don't like what's going on here. They don't want this other person to be happy with you because it's you because you show love. You may show this person a completely different look, outlook on love. Oh, this is beautiful. This is for somebody here and this is your new moon reading. Now, if you want to win a free reading here, Put in the comment below the secret phrase. If you don't know what the phrase is, you can have a look on the community tab in on my channel and click on the community chat, uh, tab there and it will tell you all about what you need to do to win a $140 value with a free reading video via email and it is going to be personalized just for you. Now you can also gift this free reading to somebody else. They have to want the reading though and be okay about you giving their name as the person you want to gift this reading to. What will happen is that person you want to give the reading to, if you win, that you have them email me and you email me the person's name. So I will look for their email that would be coming in and I will give their reading directly to them that you're gifting it to. So as it sits, 
this is what I have. All right, you guys, take care, stay blessed. If you'd like to donate, there is a PayPal account in the description box and also the super thanks. So I appreciate each and every one of you for helping support the channel. Just by watching the videos is a help all in its own. And I appreciate everything you guys are doing, your loyalty, and always coming back to watch my content. All right, you guys, take care, stay blessed. Later.